contact. Kilo off the three, Lima, Sierra Kilo. There's a contact which we'll get to in a minute, and then there's a Sierra Kilo, and uh, uh, give me the rest of the call sign there. Yes, it's Kilo Alpha 3, Lima Sierra Kilo. Uh, roger, roger, and what's the name there? Oh, the name is Bob. Roger, roger, Bob. Uh, what's going on, sir? Oh, okay, I just didn't know if you were going to take me first or not today, or second or third, whatever it may be here. Uh, no, I had checked in with you a couple weeks ago, and what I... Uh, Please don't tune up on the frequency, it's active. I have an ICOM 7300. Uh, right now you're about uh, 15 to 20 over. Hopefully my signal back to you is strong enough that you can give me a pretty decent audio report. Hopefully it's audio report that, you know, that should be okay. Uh, before, I inadvertently found that uh, after signing with you that I accidentally had one more setting to make and that was the difference between if I was on wide <laughs> wide uh, uh, frequency medium or narrow and I turned out I was on narrow so you were trying your best as well as some help from uh, another in individual I can't remember what his name was Lou I think it was but uh, anyhow what I've done now is I have it wide I have now adjusted the audio spectrum so hopefully you know the audio sounds reasonably good for an ICOM 7300 back to you Jim Oh, Roger, Roger. You know, that's the only thing about that 7300 uh, they should have had one place to uh, adjust the width of your signal. Instead of putting those in different places, they should have put that, that one uh, capability in one place. And once you had uh, chosen the, uh, you know, the maximum width once, you know, you, you got it. That's where it is. But no, they put it in different places. So if any one of those places uh, chooses a less than wa uh, fully wide position, it, it goes defaults to that. So, uh, you know, it's like you have to constantly be looking everywhere to make sure that, that you're in the widest width possible. Whereas if they just put it in one place, you just go there and, you know, look at it at one time. Roger. Oh, yeah, I, I agree, but I was new to the radio and uh, actually thought I had gone through a number of... Uh, I actually used it more for uh, you know, for digital work and not so much in audio. So uh, I was very unfamiliar with the, the actually the audio controls, and I probably left it narrow when I was on digital work, for all I know. So at any rate, uh, does the audio sound reasonable? If it does, then I'm, I'm happy. Yes, sir. I think you're doing really well now. You've got to remember that you're using that uh, stock hand mic, Roger. Oh, uh, that's correct. All right, and you've got to work that uh, stock hand mic to the side of your mouth. Uh, if you work into it, you'll pick up a lot of transits and plosives. But you work across it with it to the side of your mouth, and that's, that's the way to do it. Okay, that sounds great, Jim. Okay, well, uh, you know, I'm sure there'll be a number of people stacked up once again this Friday to uh, check in with you, see what your reports are. So if you've given me a passing grade, I'll just listen in for a while. And I appreciate your assistance, Jim. And the, I think it was Lou, uh, the other gentleman that might have checked in, wondering why I couldn't make the right adjustment. So uh, I'll turn it back to you, uh, Jim, KC9DKB. Thanks a lot. And I'll listen. This is KA3LSK. Oh, roger that, roger that, uh, Bob. Uh, you know, <laughs> Lou's a little bit under the weather today, uh, more so than normal. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he, um, I, the part I caught was uh, a screwdriver. But <laughs> he uh, went on to explain that that was just an emblem on the uh, computer when you got to the right uh, menu. Uh, I was not familiar with that, and I heard the word screwdriver, and I thought, that at first off, that he was suggesting that you uh, approach that radio <laughs> with a screwdriver, and I was saying, oh my God, no, but that's just an emblem on the menu, Roger. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, the tools menu, and I guess there's a screwdriver and whatever. <laughs> so, okay, you're right about that. I'm glad I didn't quickly have any of these micro miniature screwdrivers go in there and start tinkering. Or get out my big 140-watt soldering iron and go inside and start disconnecting uh, a surface-mounted diode. So, <laughs> okay, thanks, Jim. KC9BKBKA3LSK.
Roger, Roger, Bob. Uh, three's out of way, sir. And uh, yeah, I thought for a minute that I was dying of a heart attack because uh, I, I didn't feel like uh, that you were ready to do that and uh, that uh, d didn't look like it was going to be a good outcome. But uh, well, luckily we resolved the issue that it was just a uh, uh, an icon in the menu. So <laughs> there you go. So three's Bob. Uh, thanks for checking back. And uh, if you get a chance to check in next Friday and uh, we'll see what you've what you've done and uh, how you you're doing. Uh, this is a KC9 VKV.